Hello everyone, my name is Jamie. I hope your summer is going well. Today we're gonna read, I ain't gonna paint no more and I've got all my rainbow colored paintbrushes, but I'm only gonna use one to read this story, okay? This story um, is to a tune, so I kind of like to sing it as well. It's written by Karen Beaumont and illustrated by David Catrow. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's called a splatter. That's a lot of paint. Here we go. Here we go. One day, my mama caught me painting pictures on the floor and the ceiling and the walls and the curtains and the door. And I heard my mama holler like I never did before. You ain't gonna paint no more. Oh my goodness, look at that bathtub. Are you ready? She's a silly one. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. That's what I say, but there ain't no way that I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, she's got a little bit of color dashed over there. So I take some red and I paint my, that's right, head. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh, what the heck, gonna paint my, that's right, neck. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I just can't rest till I paint my chest. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Guess there ain't no harm if I paint my, arm. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I just can't stand not to paint my hand. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Then I see some black, so I paint my back. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Like an Easter egg, gonna paint my leg. Now I ain't gonna paint no more. Still, I ain't complete till I paint my feet. I ain't gonna paint no more. I ain't gonna paint no more, no more. I ain't gonna paint no more. But I'm such a nut, gonna paint my what? Uh-oh. Y'all don't faint, cause there ain't no paint, so I ain't gonna paint no more. Oh boy. Looks like she needs a real bath. All right. Well, thank you. And now we're gonna do a painting activity. Hello again. So I was so inspired by Ain't Gonna Paint No More No More and all those crazy colors and how they painted themselves up in the bathtub. I thought, well, we're gonna go to town with some paint. I've got some water and you can tell I've used some blue paint. You wanna make sure you have some water. I've attached some paper, big sheets of paper. You might have bigger pieces. And I'm out here, I've got a clear plastic um, drop cloth. So you wanna make sure you're either outside. And I'm gonna dip it in the blue again, a little bit of water, and then watch this. Are you ready? And boom! <gasps> Whoa! I can almost hear the tune in my head. Let me see. I think I'm gonna go for a little bit of pink. A little water, because you wanna kinda get it a little loose. Ain't gonna paint no more, no more. Let's see, how about, I think we need a little green. Hmm, here we go. So if you, the more water you add, the lighter the color, okay? It's definitely watery. Um, let me see, I'm gonna try a little red action. All right, cool designs. I wanna see what you can do. Okay, we've got another fun activity. In addition to doing our splatter paint, how about we try some footprints? Okay, two ways you can do it. I've got a big tray here and I've splattered some paint around, again, added some water, and I've got my paper taped down. Again, I've got a drop cloth underneath. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna step into it. Oh, this is gonna be slippery. I'm gonna step in and get one foot all painted up and step and try the other one. Okay, let's see. One, 
two. Ah! Silly. It's really <laughs> sticky. Three. Oh, it's on my toes. You want to make sure you have a paper towel or a basin so you can wash your feet right away. Another way is just to paint your feet. You can paint, put paint right on your feet, just like our little friend did in the story, like this. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm gonna paint my feet up. Woohoo! And I step down, or maybe I just want my toes. That's a funny little thing. All right, now go and have some fun painting. <laughs>